Images are a very important part of your web content. They can make or break a site. Low quality images can make your site look unprofessional. And super high resolution images can slow your page load times way down. There needs to be a middle ground of nice quality images, but also fast load times for your pages. This is called image optimization. Not only will users have a better experience with Im optimized images, but search engines will also rank your site higher if your images are optimized and your pages load fast. You can see how fast your site loads at a number of different sites like this one. This one's at developers.google.com slash speed slash page speed slash insights. We can enter the URL and it will analyze the site and give us a score. Many times, if you get a bad load time score on these sites, it's because your images are too large. Two things you can do to remedy this is to resize your image and compress them. Resizing is quite simple. We might, might start with a very high resolution image like this one at 3200 by 1800 pixels and it's a 1.2 megabyte image. First, I'll want to make sure and save the original in a safe place. So if I need to start this process over, I have the original to work with. You really never need an image wider in pixels than a monitor is in pixels. So I like to have even my image that will fill the whole screen be only around 1,000 pixels wide. So even if I was going to use this image as a large banner or a hero image, I'd still only have it be about a thousand pixels wide. You can use tools like Photoshop or GIMP to resize, or you could even use something as simple as paint on Windows. Or you can go to a site like pickresize.com to resize the image. I would drag it in and I would put my width in and I will resize it and save it. It's going to download with an RSZ prefix. Now we can see it's not as wide and it's down to 167 kilobytes. Next, I would also try compressing the image. Compression is when you remove or group together certain parts of an image file in order to reduce its size. Again, tools like Photoshop would work, but there are free alternatives like tinypng.com, where again, you simply drag your image over it and it will compress it. Make sure that after this happens, it still will look good on your page and that you didn't over-optimize it and make it look pixelated or grainy. So here we can see that we got a little more optimization and it's down a little bit more. And if we take a look at this image, you'll see that even though it, we could get it to be quite large on the page, it's still going to look good. And now it will also load much faster.